Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Bitcoin, where we onboard the masses five minutes at a time so you don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, today on this episode, we are going to take a break from the academics and the basics and the fundamentals of Bitcoin. And we're going to basically today, I'm just going to rant. And maybe you could learn something from my rant. Uh, today's rant is about recent news events. You may or may not know who Larry Fink is. He is the CEO of the world's largest investment management group called BlackRock. With over $10 trillion of assets under management. And recently, he has come out on national television uh, and the the interview has gone internationally on social media uh, and he has called Bitcoin a flight to quality. Um, some people are going to paraphrase and say that that means flight to safety, flight to security, flight to a store of value, flight to many other things, and they would all be correct. Now, you have to ask yourself, why would this guy who has a pending ETF application with the SEC come out ahead of approval and tell everyone in the world that Bitcoin is the thing? Why? Well, one would uh, make a good argument, one could make a good argument that um, he is trying to manipulate the market and uh, uh, he's going to do some sort of market manipulation and uh, this is a, some sort of tactic. But in reality, if he were going to be doing that, he'd be doing the opposite. He'd be doing the thing that he's been doing for years and that's spreading FUD. We talked about FUD earlier. In a previous video, go back and check it out. F U D FUD. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. A lot of these guys use that. Uh, uh, a lot of investors, a lot of traders use that to move the market, to manipulate the market. They do they say one thing, but they do another. And Larry Fink is no stranger to that. So, why would he go come out and say that? Well, I honestly believe that he has seen the light with Bitcoin and sees the handwriting on the wall. There's no other explanation. Uh, he's coming out ahead of he's uh, coming out ahead of the ETF approval because it's almost certain that that will happen, and he is promoting the very thing that he's going to be trying to sell to people. Now, and, and and here's the crazy part. The price of Bitcoin is not spiking. It actually went down after he said that. So, what my rant for the day is, is this. You have all of these high net worth individuals, these powerful people who are, for all intents and purposes, much more powerful than your government. Uh, and they're coming out publicly saying the, the positive virtues of Bitcoin and promoting Bitcoin. Yet the price is not spiking up. Well, that's a, there's a couple of reasons why. Um, one is there's this thing called over-the-counter uh, Bitcoin purchasing, which is the what the institutions are doing and the sovereign wealth funds are doing right now, and that won't reflect in the price. We call that smart money. Um, they buy directly from miners and they divide, they buy directly from people like, uh, large holders like Coinbase, for example, and it doesn't move the price. But the retail side of it uh, is not spiking. The retail price 
is not spiking. Now, why is that? All right, I'll tell you why. People are ignorant. People are ignorant. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I don't mean it in a, in a, as a put down or a, a slang or anything. I mean it in the clinical sense. I don't mean to use the word ignorant. I, I'm not using that word like, uh, I'm, I would use the word imbecile or, or, uh, ignoramus or, um, uh, stupid or, or anything like that. Ignorant means uneducated. They're uninformed, agnostic. They're just, as a matter of fact, not only are they, uh, for the most part, and if you look at statistics, it shows that as far as Americans, less than 1% of Americans own any Bitcoin. All right, that's a sign that you and I are so early, it's ridiculous. And why aren't people buying Bitcoin? Well, I'll tell you why. They're ignorant. They're uneducated. The system has, uh, over the generations, the decades in the United States, because of the industrial complexes, and when I say that, I mean everything. I'm talking about uh, food production, pharmaceuticals, medical, military, uh, uh, education, uh, yeah, that's that system's been hijacked, and it has been uh, dumbing you down for the most part. Not you specifically, you watching this. You, <laughs> the crazy thing is, is if you're watching this, you're probably in the one percent of people who are uh, who own Bitcoin, or at least are curious about Bitcoin. Uh, You've got all of these smart people, and I recommend going to listen to people like Stanley Druckenmiller, Paul Tudor Jones, uh, Larry Fink, Max Kaiser, Tim Draper, Jack Maulers, Elon Musk. I'd say uh, Joe Rogan, but... Joe Rogan's just a talk show guy. He's not a a power, he's not a master of industry or anything. Well, I guess you could say he's a master of communications industry, but uh, he's a podcaster. Um, let's see, there's a, a multitude of people in the financial world who are screaming about Bitcoin. And for the most part, the American public and the general public around the world now don't get me wrong. Now, for the most part around the world, the number one reason people aren't getting into Bitcoin on a massive scale is because they're broke. They don't have any money. But in America, Americans want to pay that 7.5% mortgage note. They want to, I mean, not a lot, but some of them are doing it. Uh, debt. Debt is crushing Americans. Debt is... We'll go into this in another episode, but debt <laughs> is what's the problem. It, we, we, you know, we run on a debt-based system, and eventually the, the base layer of that debt pyramid is going to crumble, especially if they keep uh, chipping away at it with taxes and, and foreign aid and, and immigration policies that create wasteful spending and... Uh, it goes on and on and on. We'll talk about that. But anyway, let's get back to uh, ignorant people. The price of Bitcoin is not spiking because people are uneducated and ignorant about the virtues of Bitcoin. Start at episode number one and go five minutes at a time down the rabbit hole with me, starting with the fundamentals and basics of Bitcoin and what Bitcoin is, and also Check out other people. There's a lot of good information about Bitcoin on the internet, on YouTube, on, on X, formerly Twitter. This legacy uh, financial system that our world has been predicated on for the most part in a capitalist society is crumbling. It's, it's, it's over. You, two years max and you're going to see the dollar. You're going to see empty shelves at the grocery stores. Yeah, and I know I'm, I'm, 
one of those, uh, I'm not one of those, the sky is falling guys, but the sky's falling guys. And there's a parachute. It's behind me. You see that sign? At least, at least you hear me out and follow my channel. Speaking of which, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe tab. Tick that little bell for updates. And I'm going to remind you to dollar cost average, hodl, and self-custody your Bitcoin. God bless you.